Hey all, welcome back to another hands-on. This is going to be a hands-on for creating participant data in Genesis Cloud. Um, I've already got my architect open. I've already got my call flow in edit mode. Uh, so that's kind of where we're going to pick up. If you need to get there, just press pause on this uh, and you can continue. Uh, first step is I'm at the starting task. So right, right when the caller comes into the call, there's that call log that I've added. Uh, we are going to actually put some data in there. So we're going to set participant data. I'm just going to go ahead and put it right after that. And sometimes it doesn't work when I click and drag. So let's just do this. Set participant data. First one we're going to set is we, let's say, let's set a, a DNS to it. So S DNS, because it's a string. And I always have to remember, put the expression. So flow to S DNS. And we're going to assign it a, a, a value. Um, two and let's just do this. Two and five with a bunch of fives after. All right, let's uh, assign another attribute. Let's assign a Q. So let's go flow dot S Q name. And we're gonna go ahead and put, this is a manual one now granted, um, you can do it different ways. You can do it from a data table, which we do get in data tables. Um, but this is just, we're gonna manually set this. That way we can call it later on and we don't have to worry about changing this. So let's say you want to separate it or you want to put uh, a new number or a new queue into it. Instead of having to find all the places you have to put that, you just simply go to the top of the, the starting task. You're able to fill out that attribute and then publish and it automatically makes that change. So now we're going to route this call based on certain things. So obviously as we go through here, and I know it's kind of an expanded view, but it's going to go to a main menu um, based off the null and test queue off option one, it's going to take it to the route call reusable task. So let's just base it off of that. We can see in here, there's a few things that are happening, whether it's found or not found for greetings. We're evaluating a schedule group. Based off of open, let's go ahead and do some decisions around this. And let's go logical, decision. We're gonna make this an expression. And we're going to take a look at if flow.sdness equals two and five, 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 five. five. You gotta put some quotes around that. So obviously, if it's a no, we just want to transfer it to Q. But if it's a yes, maybe we want to do something else. Maybe we want to assign it to that Q in particular. Uh, because you can see I'm using some things from a data table. So we're going to assign it. What we first need to do, though, is we need to find the Q. And we're going to just use that expression that we used earlier, right? S Q name or flow to S Q. And the Q result is going to turn into task.Q. If we find that, we're now we're going to go ahead and transfer to voicemail of the queue. We're going to go ahead and use it as an expression. Put dask.queue. There you go. Um, I always, obviously, if you guys have watched any of my other videos, uh, I always blank that out to 100 milliseconds just to kind of get rid of the yellow. But you can see here, now there is a voicemail prompt that you can change here. I just leave it as a default. So we're we're looking at um, the participant data that we, we put on first early on. Um, the reason that flow is in there, it allows that uh, participant data to flow through the entire call flow that you're able to then pull that. If you were to set that as a task.sdness um, in the starting task, it would only live in that starting task. It wouldn't flow to the other, the other tasks. So that's why flow is there. Uh, that's what we're looking at a decision based off of something we set early on, flow.sdenis equals that 2155555, retweeting. Um, if it doesn't, we're going to just go transfer it to queue because we want it to go to the queue it's going to go to. Uh, if not, we need to find that queue. So obviously that string just needs to be knocked off. So we're looking at the flow.sq flow .sq, uh, participant data from the first task, and we're just going to transition that into a task.queue. That way we can then use it after we've found it to transfer to voicemail. So if it's found, then we're going to go ahead and transfer to voicemail. We're going to use that expression, task.q or that variable to transfer it over there. Uh, it's going to set the, you know, they're going to send the email. If it's not found, what we can do in addition is we can go ahead and push, push this down here. That way, if some error out or if it's not found or, or the DNS isn't that, it's going to go ahead and transfer to Q. So I hope that helped in explaining uh, how participant data can be used. You can use it in a variety of other things. I just use two very common things that we use on a daily day basis. Um, just remember, just uh, give a, it, this is supposed to just give you a good understanding of participant data. If you have questions, please comment. 
Um, I'm always trying to do more videos, add more content to you guys. That way there's, uh, you know, there's a flowing, um, flowing gathering there of, of different data that you guys can use. Anyway, uh, look forward to guys seeing you guys in the next hands-on. Thanks.